Welcome back once again and we begin with our top story where that sad news of Kenya which is this morning one of its top diplomats that is Ambassador Bethel Kiplegat, the former chairman of the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission passed on at a Nairobi hospital after a long illness. Kiplegat will be remembered for his role in tackling ethnic and political conflict including the 2007 post-election violence. It is the fourth death of a high profile personality in the country this month alone coming just two days after that of Nicholas B. Watt, a former powerful cabinet minister in former President Daniel Arab Moy's government. Now, Kiplagat died at the age of 81. The body has now been moved to the Lee funeral home right here in Nairobi. <laughs> Of course, following the death of uh, Ambassador Bethel Kiplagat, and of course that story forms the basis of a question uh, this morning on a Twitter poll, and we are asking you, what is your fondest memory of the late Ambassador Bethel Kiplagat? Let me just take that again. What is your fondest memory of the late Ambassador Bethel Kiplagat? You know the drill, you can as well go to Twitter, uh, using a Twitter handle that is at KTN News, you can tweet me at Yusuf Ibra. And uh, me together with Tricks, of course, who is in studio with me, we're going to go through some of your uh, feedback within this uh, program. Speaking about Tricks, she is with me right here in studio. Good morning, Tricks. Good morning, Yusuf. Of course, um, it is a very sad day once again exactly. in Kenya. Exactly. They say when it rains, it pours. Mm -hmm. And Kenya has been witnessing a number of former dignitaries or actually current dignitaries passing away. Some of these uh, people served way back to the Moy regime. So they are renowned and they will be remembered for a long time. Mm -hmm. So today, we've woken up to the news of the death of Bethwell. Kiplagat, who was a former ambassador and, of course, the head chair of the TJRC. We're going to take a look at some of these words that give us some more information on his life. He was born in 1936, mm -hmm. so he was at, uh, he has passed on at the age of 81 after a lengthy uh, battle with an undisclosed uh, illness. Then we're having here some, another board telling us some of the positions he held. We know the most recent and most, um, uh, you know, notable is that he was the chair of the TJRC, something that was a, a position that was embattled because of uh, the allegations uh, apparently about the Wagala massacre that he was said to be involved. He uh, uh, he was uh, outrightly um, against these accusations and said he was never involved in that. He stepped down in 2010, but uh, former CS um, Eugene Wamala brokered his return by uh, uh, you know intervening with the commissioners who were against him holding this position, and he came back on board and you know was very instrumental in the truth and reconciliation. That was really important after the 2007 post-election violence where a lot of people needed to be, you know, brought back together in various communities across the world and also there was that report that this commission brought out. Uh, so let's move on to the next uh, slide and see what more he did. He was also the Chancellor of the Egerton University, something that is lesser known uh, in the public eye. So let's move on to the next board and see what more positions he held while he was uh, serving the nation. He was the Executive Director of the, e the African Peace Forum. So we know that he was also in instrumental in working for peace in Somalia around 2003. He was the Kenya's special envoy to Somalia when the country was really in need of peace and reconciliation. So he was working, representing Kenya in efforts to ensure that Somalia finds its footing and its a young government also finds its footing. And also they just find peace after long decades actually of conflict. So this is one of the things that he did while he was uh, working towards peace in Africa. Then the, he was also the chair of the Kenya Rural Enterprise Program. This is also another position that is lesser known and the director of the U Universal Bank. So clearly some uh, positions are coming out that were lesser known in the public eye. Then he was the member of the Election Monitoring Committee and then the National Council of the Churches of Kenya. We ha well, something that is lesser known also is that Kiplagat has a, a, a background or academic background in uh, religious studies. So this also speaks to that and uh, it makes sense that he held that position. Then uh, he was the permanent secretary in the Ministry of 
of Foreign Affairs during the Moi regime that uh, it was called the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation between the year 1983 and 1991. That's, I, th I think, a, a 13 years, which is a really long time. Then he serves, uh, has also served as the ambassador for, for Kenya to the UK between 1981 and 1993 and ambassador to France between 1978 and 1981. That's the title ambassador that we all know him uh, to, that also is all, he is always referred to as. Then he was the Deputy General Secretary, National Christian Council of Churches of Kenya. Like I said earlier, he has his, a background in religious studies and therefore it makes sense that he would hold some of these positions in some of these religious uh, Christian committees. And he was the chair of the African Medical and Research Foundation. Just goes to speak to some of his uh, more social um, roles in the Kenyan so, uh, society uh, that not uh, that isn't highlighted as much as some of uh, positions as such as his ambassador positions and his uh, roles at the, in, the, in government such as the cabinet secretary. Then we take a look at some of his academic background. He wa he has um, he he attended Makerere University and studied phys physical science. And as well, like I have said earlier, he was he he studied a sociology of religion at the Sorbonne University. So, of course, uh, that uh, uh, winds up our uh, Super Bowl on what he did while he was, uh, you know, in government. That uh, may he rest in peace. Yusuf. Many thanks, uh, Trix, uh, for that, of course, as I've already mentioned, his death comes, you know, he's the fourth, you know, exactly. death of a senior yeah. uh, government official. A really uh, troubling.